Let's learn about an important and very common condition, the thyroid eye disease. So we have already seen that it is also known as thyroid related of thalmopathy or graves of thalmopathy and it is five times more common in females around the age of 40 to 60 years more in females between 40 to 60 years of age this is a very interesting mnemonic for you to remember the uh, signs and symptoms of thyroid eye disease because there are too many to remember and we are ophthalmologists for now because we are learning ophthalmology your uh, mnemonic will be no specs okay that will give you the signs and symptoms of uh, thyroid eye disease so n stands for no signs and no symptoms o is for only signs and no symptoms that is you as a doctor can make out in the beginning however the patient will not have any symptoms and what are these signs they're going to be your lid retraction and lid lag okay see this picture there is lid retraction that you can see the lid appears to be pulled up okay and that is your lid retraction and by lid lag i mean the patient is looking downwards and if you look at this eye the lid is going downwards but this lid is not this is my lid lag okay that is lid retraction and lid lag and s stands for soft tissue signs that is periorbital lid edema carunkle edema and injection over the lateral rectus insertion please remember this the lateral rectus insertion shows an injection okay now p stands for proptosis or exophthalmus what is the mechanism it is due to deposition of mucopolysaccharides on the muscle belly the muscle belly is filled with mucopolysaccharides causing an enlargement and pushing the eye forward resulting in proptosis okay the, the characteristic radiological feature if at all you are given an image the muscle belly is going to look enlarged like this however the tendon is going to be normal okay that will let you know that it is thyroid of thermopathy okay now let's look at the uh, e e stands for extraocular muscle movement restriction the first to be involved is inferior rectus followed by medial then superior and lastly the lateral rectus is involved okay so the mnemonic for this is i am so lucky i inferior rectus is the first muscle to be involved in thyroid of thalmopathy and lateral rectus is the last now c stands for corneal involvement that is corneal exposure keratopathy you can understand that when the lid is pulled backwards it is not covering the cornea and not protecting it hence it is more predisposed to dryness resulting in exposure keratopathy causing a corneal ulcer ultimately leading to blindness so that is about c then s stands for sight loss and not due to please remember not due to corneal ulcer the sight loss is due to optic nerve compression okay because of uh, excessive uh, infiltration of the orbit with the mucopolysaccharides and excessive soft tissue swelling there is a compression of the optic nerve causing blindness hello everyone this is dr sai suguna your mentor for ophthalmology at medico app now, thanks for watching the video now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app the trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below